Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2024 ski test. We've got a Liberty Origin 101 for you today. Really, really fun free ride ski. Uh, definitely harnesses kind of that spirit uh, that Liberty kind of puts forth. You know, very, very accomplished free ride company. You know, they branched out into more all mountain V series and Evolve. They still have their more freestyle specific Helix series. And then Origin just fits right in the middle, perfectly in the middle. Uh, and then this 101 is, was a new ski last year. And then that really helped kind of uh, complete the Origin series in terms of width and application and just overall, you know, fun and playful skiing. So the 101, kind of the newest of the Origin series skis and just one of the more well-rounded, especially when we're talking about uh, softer snow. You know, it's interesting to see how this thing fits in between 96 and 106. Uh, and at first we were kind of like, eh, it's a little close. Um, but after being on it for over a year now, it, it makes a little bit more sense. And just even just gives the skier uh, more choices, you know, better options to choose from, more uh, customization for the type of skiing that they're, that they're doing most of the time. So I think it's a useful width to have. Um, other than this nice new graphic, the ski remains the same. So again, just an interesting use of construction techniques that they put in to make this thing stand out from a lot of other skis in this range. They do use a blend of bamboo and poplar in the wood core. And bamboo is a little bit unique in the ski world. We don't normally talk about it outside of Liberty, uh, at least here at Ski Essentials. Uh, and that's because it kind of falls on the light and flexible side of the spectrum. But Liberty does and has an interesting way of uh, kind of combating or balancing that. And that's just through the simple thickness of the core. So they, all they really do is put more in there in a vertical manner, and then that picks up some of the slack that that wood may create from you know, a natural perspective. So thicker overall core profile, that leads to a little bit more of a burly nature in this ski. And then the use of vertical metal is implemented as well. So VMT 1.0, there's one vertical metal strut running through the length of this ski. And when you place metal or any other material kind of in that vertical manner, uh, it really increases the stiffness. So if you think about this ski this way in a vertical uh, way versus this way horizontally, you know, this is gonna have more support. So it's a little bit less material overall. They're able to achieve a very similar level of performance. Then we get two strips of carbon that run uh, along the top of the core from tip to tail, adding to the stiffness of the ski. Um, you know, it's still not overly stiff, but it definitely has some nice snap and really good energy to it. And that's a lot has to do with that metal and the carbon for sure. Uh, you know, because there's more overall material due to that thickness, it does weigh a little bit, um, 20, 20. 2,040 grams on the scale here in the 182. So it's not that they're using heavier materials, they're just using more materials overall. Um, the thicker the core, the more kind of insulation between your boot and the snow, and that leads to a quieter feel as well. So they do a nice job implementing these materials in a specific way to create uh, the ski's playful and fun-loving personality without making it you know, floppy or, um, you know, too flexible in any way. So nice mix of attributes here for sure. Uh, 101 underfoot, 19 meter turn radius here in the 182. Um, you know, mid range for free ride. Um, if you think about free ride kind of starting at 100 millimeters, this one's pretty close, but then you kind of look at the round shape and the versatile profile and it starts to make a little bit more sense that this thing falls to that narrow free ride side of the spectrum but we do have that nice positive camper underfoot and then pretty long rocker in the tail starts down about here um, decent splay as well and then with origin kind of the overarching theme is just this rounder shape in the tips and the tails with some more uh, early taper there. So that's gonna make this ski very, very smooth in softer snow, definitely a good floater for the width and just cuts right through, no issues whatsoever. Very smeary, very drifty, kind of what you think of 
when you're thinking of kind of a modern free ride ski. Um, and then this is the tail shape, again, very round, almost a little bit sharp in the end. And that's going to serve to act like more of a rudder. So you can be really maneuverable if you're playing off the tails of your skis. And then a nice tail rocker to go along with it. You know, there is freestyle applications here, but that's kind of more what the Helix line is for. Uh, this is more of that free ride twin tip versus freestyle. But really, really nice round shape to that ski. We talk about that a lot with even the wider skis in the Origin series. Uh, and it also really kind of contrasts what they do with their Evolve series, which is very much a squared off shape uh, with minimal taper, minimal rocker, and a longer effective edge. So even within a company, it's nice to see how different they are from their ski constructions. Uh, and this 101 certainly falls into that well-rounded, narrower free ride category. So make sure you check this thing out here at SkiEssentials.com, and we will see you out there on the hill. Bye.